Hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? This is Antoine Gibson here, back with another video. Um, let's get right into it, man. So this video is an introduction to Finale, the music notation software that I and millions of other individuals around the world use to compose music and arrange music and put music to movie score. And Finale is definitely a very versatile program that really does a lot more than people realize that it that it does. Yeah, man, I'm gonna try to cover as much as I as much as I can, as much as I know about Finale. Not in this episode, but you know. So there it is, man. Yeah, let's get right to it. All right, so first, of course, you need a computer. Um, log on to makemusic.com. All right, and here on makemusic.com is where you download Finale and Finale Notepad and Smart Music and all those other things. All right, so here we go. So to download Finale, of course, you need to go to Products, Finale, you get Finale V26. It's the newer version of Finale. Um, they've had Finale 2014. 2010 like for now they kind of gets a new version every couple of years and and it's super dope um they offer a free trial of course and if you have a previous version of finale you're able to upgrade for 149 dollars or buy now for 600 dollars <laughs> um but if you're a college student you are able to buy for 99 dollars or if you're a teacher um 350 dollars if you like some average joe then you know six hundred dollars but uh, most people watching this probably are one of the two teachers or college university students if you still have your college email address you can use that even if you already graduated <laughs> but um yeah check that out oh shoot okay due to the <laughs> due to COVID-19 right they extended finale free trial to 60 days which is really dope all right so we do it click it Windows Mac I have myself a Mac so I click Mac if you have a window click Windows um, blah 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 alright so before you download you need to make an account alright so I'm not gonna walk you through the whole downloading process y'all know how to download stuff <laughs> alright we're gonna keep, keep this moving forward alright so when you download it click it open it up this is the finale 26 version that I have on my computer so I'll be using that alright so first thing you do so right here where it says create new music this is kinda what you're looking for um, they have templates Default document exercise wizard. So I'm going to go through all of these three things. I'm going to go through the setup wizard last because that's kind of um, what you really need to get going. But if you go to templates, they have band templates, um, chamber templates, choir templates, church templates. Um, I made some of my own templates in here as well. All right. So if you open up exercise wizard, yeah. So this is smart music. Smart music is super dope. It's a super dope program that a lot of people I know don't utilize, and they really should. I should use it more myself. Um, that so yeah you can you can read it right here it's just, it's just a program that helps you um, practice and learn how to play some music and here you can create your own lesson um, and I will come back to this another day not today on this video but I'll get to that later all right so if you go to default document it will give you a page like this yeah so just a blank document that you can kind of do whatever you want with it if you want to, I don't know, you may just be writing an exercise for some music, general music class, and you just need a blank staff paper, um, something like that. I mean, I, I don't know, you can, you know, the possibilities are kind of endless with a blank sheet of staff paper. All right, so scratch all that. We're going to get to the good, the good juicy stuff. All right, so here we go. Um, the meat and potatoes, what Finale is really known for, you click this button, the setup wizard. All right, super dope setup wizard. All right. So here's where you begin to start writing for your ensemble or group or you know band or whatever you're writing for. Here on the left, you have selected an ensemble. And these are kind of just like template ensembles that they have. Like if you have a jazz band, it'll give you bam, all the jazz band instruments right here. And it will be right to the right. So, so you can go through all of these and they will set you up with like an automatic, like all the instruments in these ensembles. So like woodwind choir. Flute, flute, oboe, bassoon, clarinet, one, two, three, you know, stuff like that. Or you can, you know, create your own ensemble. So that's on the left side. On the right side, you have the document style, all right? So engraved style is kind of the normal, normal stuff. Handwritten style, it's kind of the style I like use. The jazz type font, 
kind of the sort of the jazz type font and then they have a really jazz type font right here of course coral engraver coral mastro like elementary educator like it's some really cool stuff like every type of document style that you've ever seen in music is right here in finale uh check all of that stuff out so what i like to do or what you can do when you create your first ensemble go to create a new ensemble i like to do the So what I like to do when I start writing a lot of pieces, I go to create a new ensemble and go to handwriting, handwritten style. I just like the way it looks. Sometimes I use the jazz band style, but I think the handwritten style is more personal and still kind of funky without like being too jazz bandish, <laughs> right? And if you go down here, score page style, portrait or landscape. I love doing landscape on the score and portrait on the pages. Um, landscape is just easier to read the score as a landscape than it is a portrait. All right, so when you're here with select instruments, you can put whatever, you can make whatever ensemble you want to make. I guess most of my viewers are marching band people, so I'm, I'm just making a marching band template to to go through with you guys. So, first of all, death to flute in a marching band. Stop it. It's terrible. Um, piccolo. All right, click that. Clarinet in B flat. All right, alto sax, tenor sax. All the woodwinds, trumpet, I like to do three tr separate trumpet parts, that's just me, but you know, whatever floats your boat, horn and F, trombone, alright, trombones, baritones, euphoniums, this is baritone, BC, and tuba, alright, so these are all of the instruments in, I guess, a standard marching band, so what you can do right here is scale order, whatever you want it to be, you can kind of move it up and down to make it it's more appealing to you, whatever you're used to reading, or they have presets right here. Coral, concert band, they move the French horn up and down, marching band, jazz band. Um, they put them, you know what I'm saying, two with water. It, it, it all depends on whatever you're looking at. But try this drop down window and they have a whole bunch of different combinations of scale orders and you can do that. And then once you do that, you can save as a new ensemble. So this is kind of cool. If you save it as a new ensemble, you can name it whatever you want to name it full marching band all right you can save it as that so if you go back you will see right here what you just made as a select an ensemble is right here full marching band click it all the instruments are right here in this window over here and it's good to go all right so every time you make a new song with the with the setup wizard you can just go click that preset bam all right it's already in there all right so here we go next window title all right whatever you're gonna name the piece I will name this piece COVID-19, <laughs> all right, that's the name of the song, Composer, Corona, all right, Arranger, Arranged by Stay Your Butt at Home, all right, here we go, Lyricist, um, if you have a Lyricist, you can put that, subtitles, whatever you want to, Copyright, Vitaly Music. Now I'm talking about whatever your copyright is, if you have one, if you don't have one, make up one, it's fine. Next, this window right here, alright? So whatever, you can start at the top, pretty self-explanatory. Time signature, 3, 4, 2, 4, common time, whatever you want to be, 6, 8, 12, 8. Alright, you know, common time, let's do it, 4, 4. Whatever key, so right here in this drop down window, you have minor key, major key, keyless, just, you know. Pick one. Learn your keys, everybody. Learn all your keys. Um, let's do G flat major. Sure, why not? So this box right here. If you click it, if you check this little box that says specify initial tempo marking right here, and put whatever text you want to put. Um, don't leave the house. Rona party. All right, cool. Rona party. I right, put whatever tempo you want. Um, whatever tempo you put will be the tempo that pops up on the top of the page for everybody to see. So, 100, all right, Adante, and that's pretty much that, all right, and it's going to pop up on the top left when I press finish right here. So, specify pickup measure, if your song has a pickup measure, y'all know that one song, On Chill, right, so that one song, On Chill. We've been on a tragedy for months, why can't you agree with me for once? Maybe we can be on chill tonight, maybe I can give you chills too. We've been on a tragedy. Dee -dee 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 -dee. All right, that's a little pickup. It comes in on beat four. So you got one, two, three, four, and you know, a one. All right, you can do that. If you want to do something like that, specify, check that box, 
click the quarter note or say your song has just an eighth note pickup like um like i don't know a song with an eighth note pickup um or a dotted half pickup whatever whatever you want your pickup to be a, a half note pickup you can put that in there click, click that box and you're good number of measures all right this box really isn't that important i'll show you a while later but if you have a, a rough guesstimate of, of how long you want your song to be uh 56 measures let's go with that put it in there and click finish and damn all right COVID 19 by corona arranged by stay your butt at home rona party <laughs> on a hundred all right and that's how you start to create your own workspace all right super is that simple super easy to follow okay so a couple of things before you start so this box right here the box that i'm moving around has all of the notes, the half note, whole note, 32nd note, all the way down to a 64th note. Um, I don't really know what repitch pitch does. I've never really tried it. You know what? Let's find out. Repitch. pitch Alright, I don't know. I have no idea what repitch pitch does. I never looked it up. Um, so I'm not your guy for that. If you're trying to repitch pitch uh, or eraser, alright, super self-explanatory. Oh, it goes all the way to a 128th note. You know what's something new? Every day you learn something new. Here we go, you have the rest template. Um, I mean rest palette. So here you have the rest palette right here for your for your for your pleasure. Um for your for your pleasure. Playback controls, really kind of self-explanatory with these. If you have any repeats, you can show which one, which part, which repeat you're trying to hear back when you're trying to play through. Go back to the top, super easy, stop, play, record. The record thing is super cool. We're gonna I'm not gonna touch it in this video. But the record thing is like super cool. Alright, we're gonna get to it. Alright, so every single time I write I write a tune, you may want to hear a certain section. You could do one of two things. You could import the measure number right here if you want to. So say it's measure um say it's measure 17, right? So that'll be measure 17. The second, the second thing is beat. So that'd be beat three, measure 17, and I think it's like second or something like that. If you press play, it'll go to measure 17, B3, just like that, all right? Super cool. Or say you're working on a specific measure, say measure 17. If you click this, playback region from left, left most, left, how can I say that word? Left most measure, you're gonna get from measure 17, all right? So that'd be a playback from that measure right there. Or say you're working on another measure, it's just a super easy, quick way to do it. If you don't know the measure number, if you have that box checked, it would just automatically play it back from the left or the most region. So for you, it's measure eight or measure seven. All right, super handy feature. I love it. I love Finale for it. Super, 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 super easy. And that's pretty much all the basic stuff. I would do. I'll go more in depth later about slave to rewrite master tempo. Um, you know, click and count off playback record options. That's some super cool stuff too. We're gonna get to that one day. I'm gonna do a whole playback control video. Cause it's a lot in there. All right, it's a lot in there. All right, and the last thing, the piece to resist the ounce, all right? Um, the main palette has everything you need to know. And I will also do a video about everything on the main palette too. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna definitely do that. Right, so before this gets kind of lengthy, um, I will stop it right here and do some more videos going more into depth about all of the palettes right here, the main palette, rest palette, simple palette, uh, and the playback controls, and everything else that kind of finale has to offer. Once you get the grasp of, of all this, that whole intro, intro thing would take like 35 seconds, like at the most. All right, um, that's pretty much it, man. Stay tuned for the next video, and we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going.